talk to these real estate agents. I try to understand who they are as a person because you're matching up the the best agent for that property type and for that person. Mm-hmm. So there's a there's a bit of a, a marrying in the agent um, matchmaking that we do. But what what makes a bad agent? Well, you've got to get into the psyche of what an agent actually, um, yeah, how they how they how they think. If they're in it purely for just the money, then there's always a bit of a red flag. There's a lot of um, ego in that. And what makes a bad agent is someone who's just trying to sell their seller on selling the property. And that's a bit of a mouthful, but once they uh, start, they don't get paid unless they sell it. So they just want to get in. They want you to to sign the dotted line on the contract because that extra ten thousand dollars that they can get for you in their back pocket after they pay you know, licensing fees and their principal and then they pay tax on it, that 10 grand, I think it equates to about 150 bucks. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, if it's going to take them an extra few hours on a Saturday to get someone up $10,000, it might just be like, what's well, too hard basket, just take the offer. This is the best offer you're going to get. Yeah. You know, the market's pulling back. Yeah, if you don't take this, we're going to lose this buyer. Because this is the buyer that I become. I become that pressure cooker buyer where it's like, <laughs> if you don't take this, I'm out. You know, because I'm conditioning yeah, the conditioning sales agent, the, but yeah. I'm conditioning the sales agent to then condition the, the seller. Yeah. So yeah. it's a multi-step process because they're just relaying that. 